Today I want to share with you my testimony. Before we get started, though, I would like to go into prayer. Amen. So, Father God, we just thank you right now. We just bless your holy name because you are God. And we thank you for our covering, Father. We thank you that your son, Jesus Christ, came and he died on the cross for our sins, Father, and that we are forgiven. Lord, we just thank you for the testimonies that come forth, Father, that it will bless someone's life today and forevermore. And we give you thanks today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise God. I just want to share a little bit of my testimony. It's actually long, but I'll just breeze through it today. So I was born in Tennessee. Two parents that um, were in the same household, raised with them, um, seemed fairly a great family. We had mother, father, had siblings, brothers, sisters, and everything seemed perfect to me. I went on a church trip one day and came home and my father was no longer there. How devastating that was that my father was gone and, and I had left going to a church trip to learn about Jesus and we learned camp songs and we had an awesome time. But to come home to some devastating news like that, that your father is no longer in the household, could you imagine how I felt as a young girl? And we were very close. My mother, she had, she wanted to get away, so she actually packed up me, my brother, and sister. We moved to Colorado, and that's um, where my journey began there without a father. Um, dealt with a lot of insecurities in middle school, was bullied, picked on, wore glasses, was skinny. And everyone wanted to pick and make jokes and make fun of me. Um, moving on there, going to high school, I was determined that no more bullying. I'm going to stand up for myself. I took the glasses off, glammed myself up on the outside. But on the inside, that heart, it was broken. Broken into pieces. Um, I started going to a youth group in Heritage Christian Center in Denver, Colorado. And um, it was an awesome youth group. Went there, gave my life to the Lord, and received my prayer language that same very day. It was an awesome experience. But didn't know where to go from there. Still dealing with insecurity, still not knowing who I am, um, going through different battles, up and down, um, in and outs, different relationships, just trying to find this perfect love. And I had to understand that I would never find it in a human being. Um, I had to find out that the the love, the first love that I needed was Jesus Christ. After I became a single mother, I had a child at 18 years old, um, still seeking the Lord, still trying to figure this thing out. The Lord began to deal with me and set me down just with him and I, and I got to know him through prayer and through his word, reading and really digging in and really finding out who he really was to me in my life. I began to fall in love with this Jesus. Um, he covered me. He never left me. He was there when I made my bed in hell. He never left me. And just to find out that that love, and there was nothing that I could do to separate that love from him. There was nothing I could do. That is a, a powerful love. Um, when I found out that love, and I received that love, and that grace, and that mercy that he bestowed on my life, I was ready to then share that with someone else and that's when the Lord brought me my husband back to me. We had split up, um, we had our first child at 18, we split up, um, the enemy had his way because he knew we had purpose in this marriage. Um, didn't allow it to happen at that time but the Lord restored it, brought us back together. We've been married now, going on 12 years and it's been great um, an experience but through this Jesus has been a part of it. He's helped us to mend and restore the relationship, help us to love one another, and he's teaching us new things each and every day. And I just hope that this story have encouraged someone and that it empower you. Maybe you've been in a broken relationship. God can restore anything if you put your hope and faith in him and not people, and not men, and not friends and not money and not possessions but in him I'm telling you that he will restore you and he will turn things around and he will turn those things for your good trust me I know I've been there I've been in a broken place I've been in a lost place but I'm telling you he found me right where I was and got my hand and raised me up and cleansed me 
and made me a better person today. So if this blessed you in your life, please like, subscribe, share it with your friend. Um, let us know what you think. Any questions that you may have, leave them in the comments at below. And I just hope that you had a blessed um, experience with the story. And God bless you, and we'll see you soon.